Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's talk about the heat, maybe some relief from the heat, and a potential tropical system forming out here south of Guam in the extended forecast. First, you have that heat, which the high pressure ridge continuing to dominate. A rainy season front off towards north could bring some relief by the mid part of next week as a front dips down from the north. And I'll get to this in just a minute, but that right there, the area of convection south of Guam, kind of seeing it trying to spin up here in just a moment could bring a tropical system all right first and foremost that high pressure ridge continues to dominate that record breaking temperatures we have already been seeing it's going to continue but you can see near the latter half of this model run look at this this right in here that's possibly a shear line maybe even a bit of a cold surge is going to be dipping in now cold surge is probably a bad word for it but it could bring some relief in the form of cloud cover and eventually Maybe in some breezy northerly winds for parts of Cagayan where, you know, you've been dealing with the heat here. You can see here on Wednesday, how about let's just loop this back. We look ahead through Wednesday afternoon. You got also sorts of scattered showers. Manila highs into the mid 30s versus high 30s. And then eventually by Thursday, you get that northerly breeze back towards the north with scattered showers as well. Point is a bit of a cold surge could bring some much needed relief for a lot of our friends out here from Manila towards the north. Another thing that could bring relief from the heat, unfortunately, a lot of other factors that comes with that, is a possible tropical system in the Philippine Sea. Pagasa is saying, you know, there is the chance of a threat out here. Uh, as we go ahead through the 8th through the 14th, wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility considering this is in the area where storms would form this time of year, but this is the latest GFS Watch this. Let's loop it through. This is going ahead to the 11th, 12th, the 13th, and the 14th right there. Yeah. GFS has been consistent on a strong storm, maybe even a typhoon forming up and then curving off towards the north. There's another look for you. Uh, this would definitely be about two weeks out from now. So, I mean, we're still talking about long-range forecast, but it's not quite 300 hours out. I mean, we're 250 hours, so it's getting closer and closer. GFS has been consistent on this as well, trying to form up something. And we do have convection in that area. So if you go back to climatology, it's not out of the realm, especially since sea surface temperatures have been heating up since, you know, we've been seeing these record-breaking temperatures. And with warming sea surface temperatures, it means more fuel for the fire if a storm did form. So there's still plenty of questions here. And at you know, this point, you know, we don't really have a low pressure out there to track. But uh, I think a younger version of me might not even have shown that. Uh, but I do know you guys look ahead anyways by yourself. So why as well show that GFS model here, give you a, a clue of what I'm looking at, gives you substance. So when you do see this in the model or you see it on Facebook, post it and you're like, Oh, what is this? And somebody says, oh, a storm's coming, you know, and then takes it out of context. You know what you know what it is. You're staying smart and informed, but we still have two weeks to watch it. Could get interesting, though, if something does develop. Um, reason why I'm able to make these updates, though, is for our friends here on Patreon. You see all their names looping through. If you want to help out the channel, please check it out. I'm never going to put these stuff behind paywall, but it does go a long way to help out and i truly mean that so thanks to everybody else that continues to support the channel all right here's the forecast for manila on and off showers wednesday thursday and friday though we've that surge coming in i think you're going to see that rainfall the valley are still situated in the easterlies albeit it is hot at the very least you are going to be looking at some afternoon relief from the uh the heat there not long lasting but it'll be there while you have the sea breeze and that easterly flow Continuing in Shargao as well. Shargao, you, my friends out there, make sure you continue to watch that long-range forecast, um, especially with something developing so far south. So just a little heads up for you guys too. All right, Cebu, you're going to be looking at still some warm temperatures. Tuesday, it says 33, but I think heat indices could be even higher once you factor in that humidity about how it feels on you. Well, Baguio, yeah, you got that cool surge moving in. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to be looking at a chance of some rainfall up there in the mountains. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, if you hate the way I make these forecasts, if you want to say that me talking about the heat is a uh, climate change hype, whatever, if you comment, it helps the algorithm, so I don't care what you say, just as long as you comment and we start a smart discussion and we help keep people informed about the heat, the rain, and this potential storm. As always, thanks for watching. And number one thing, of course... Please stay safe out there, friends.